Matting gel. In this video, we're going to discuss the use and basic function and purpose of our matting gel. Now, our matting gel is a unique cosmetic grade silicone gel that can be used to matte shiny silicone or gloss effect that you get from freshly cast or freshly painted silicone. So in this video, we're just going to give a quick overview of how this product is used. Now, one of the applications that this is mainly intended for is for makeup applications. For those of you doing build-up wounds and on-skin effects using our prosthetic gel number one, this matting gel can be applied over the finished creation before you apply blood or anything else to knock down the shine. And again, this is a cosmetic grade silicone gel. So it can be applied directly to skin, silicone, surrounding areas without any issues. Now, just to give a quick overview of how this works, I just posted a tutorial a couple of weeks ago on the use of prosthetic gel for buildup makeups like this. And the silicone buildup makeups, this works a lot like the old school derma wax or mortician's wax. In the old days, makeup artists like myself, we would get uh, mortician's wax or derma wax, it was called, in uh, costume supply shops. And derma wax could be pigmented with uh, grease paint. A lot of times it came in different colors, but it was a great way to sculpt on the skin wounds and noses and chins and things like that. But the downside to it was if you bumped it, obviously being made of soft wax, it would distort. So the silicone buildup makeup process, again, discussed in another video that I'll link at the end of this one, allows you to do similar buildups like you would with Dermawax, but it's going to set up to a soft silicone appliance right on the skin that gets you around that process of trying to sculpt something out of Dermawax that, again, could be distorted. So here I'm just mixing up a small batch of the prosthetics gel number one, and we're pigmenting that with some of our silicone pigment, our light medium olive, and a little bit of flocking. Here I'm adding some of the tan flesh and some of the red flocking. And for those of you new to that process, at the end screen on this video, I'll link to the previous video where we did some uh, makeup with the prosthetic gel and also one of our videos dealing with mixing flesh tones because that will help you understand the use of flocking in conjunction with uh, silicone pigment to get realistic skin tones. So now that I have my silicone mixed up to a flesh colored, a mold maker shade here, and you see if you get that flesh tone mixed up right, and that in conjunction with using that uh, translucent prosthetic gel, where we feather that out, the underlying skin, your actual skin, shows through that silicone a little bit and you get a beautiful blending effect. Now, the only problem, as you see here, is it is shiny. Where we have applied that new silicone, we have that gloss effect on that fresh silicone. Now, what I'm gonna do here, just for the sake of this video, is just build up a massive lump on my arm and get that as smooth as I can using that popsicle stick. And those of you new to this process, you can use a sponge with 99% alcohol to texture this later if you want. And you can also use palette knives and brushes and all kinds of things to adjust this as it's setting up. But once that sets up and you have that shiny lump of silicone, now it's time to use the matting gel. You see the way it has a little bit of a gloss effect on that new silicone applied. And that gloss effect is typical of any time you have a freshly painted piece of silicone or freshly applied buildup makeup like this, a lot of times you have that gloss effect. And what the matting gel does, you just take a little bead of that and rub that in and that takes away that shine or that gloss effect. And because that is a cosmetic grade, we can apply that on the surrounding skin as well. This is a very simple way to remove gloss or the shine from silicone prosthetics or build up makeups like this. We've actually offered this product for about eight years now, but recently we've had more questions about this in relation to casting silicone dolls and freshly painted silicone props that sometimes wind up with a gloss effect from that. So if you have a silicone doll or a prop that's been freshly painted and has that glossy effect on it, you can also apply it to a piece like that, a cast part. 
Now, when you're doing that, it's important to remember this needs to be done after you're done with your paint job. Now here I'm just applying it to one of our soft skin cast silicones. It's just fresh out of an alginate mold. But if you're casting a silicone doll or a silicone prosthetic that winds up with a gloss effect on it after that silicone paint job, make sure you do this after you've painted your part. Because if you do it before, it may prevent that silicone paint from sticking, even if you're using a really good adhesive like the SAM32 silicone adhesive. So there you have the use of our matting gel, our silicone matting gel. This is, again is a cosmetic grade product, so it can be applied directly to the skin and be used to mat silicone appliances, build up makeups, silicone props and dolls, any time you have a gloss or shine on your silicone part that you need to remove. So you can find that, of course, on our website at brickintheyard.com, and I'll link it in the video description, so be sure to check that out. And as always, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to leave a comment and like and subscribe.